The challenge was set once we had our new Dyson digital motor and the aim was to create the smallest, fastest hand dryer we could. The diameter of the motor is only 85 mil, so we set ourselves the target of constraining the whole product to be packaged in with 100 mil depth itself. When the sensors activate, that turns the motor on, which starts to draw air through the product. As the air is drawn up, it then passes through our HEPA filters and then feeds the air through silencers into a duct, which distributes the air evenly at a high pressure before it exits out the slot at 400 miles per hour to scrape, literally scrape the water from your hands. So our first prototype, we wanted to create a new drying technique. So we tried out multiple iterations of what actually is comfortable for this angle. So the angle of the V shape is set at 115 degrees. It creates a comfortable drying position for your hands to be in when your hands are faced both palm up and palm down. The challenge was to create a motor bucket that was small but also didn't resonate sound. So a lot of clever and detailed engineering went into this with having rubber support mounts to suspend the motor, therefore reducing vibration and noise frequency that's transferred through the product itself. The loudest noise that you actually hear is the air exiting from the slot. We've moulded the fascia as one complete unit, therefore eliminating any chance for grime and bacteria to build up in any of the nooks or crannies or joins between different parts we needed to ensure that it would be safe and always stay on the wall. Well, it goes through loads of abuse scenarios, so to simulate it being kicked or attempted to be pulled from the wall, uh, cycling it off and on, off and on for 500,000 cycles, because we want confidence that even after five years in the field, that it can still deliver a 10 second dry time.